This is Texture Talk TV. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tendai, the Hair Whisperer, once again back with Texture Talk Live. So glad you guys could join us again. Today, our model is Angela Lewis. She is a ball, you know what I mean? So basically, what she's doing is coming in, she wears braids a lot. And just like so many women who wear braids, a lot of them experience shedding, excessive shedding. Well, that happens for a reason. We're gonna get into understanding why that happens and also learning how you can avoid losing too much hair during your braid takedown. Let's go do it. Hi, my name is Angela Lewis and I am the founder of Angela Lewis Basketball. We develop young women as leaders on and off the court and I am so excited to be here to get the Whisper Takedown. I've been wearing braids like a lot of young women since I was a kid and typically I have a lot of breakage and then I have to try to help my hair get healthy again after all of the breakage so I'm excited to get the whisper takedown to see how to properly take down my braids and to get a little jazzy with my next hairstyle I'm not sure what I'm going to come out looking like but I'm sure it's going to be amazing so I'm excited to get started to get these braids out to get this hair washed and see what happens next Angela, so I'm so glad you came in. You've been in braids. How long has this been? You know, not too long. Um, since September. September. Um, okay. All right. Well, so about two months, almost three. I got the front touched up about three weeks ago. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, I love the size of your braids. That's really, really important. So you know, um, so many people they get these little bitty tiny braids. That's mm -hmm. one of the worst things you could do um, when you go into a protective style. And I say protective, I say that loosely, because sometimes you can do more damage than good if it's not um, put in properly, if they're too tight, or if the base is too small. So that's what I really like about your braids is that they're actually um, portioned out really nicely, a nice base so that you don't have to worry about so much um, breakage, you know, and, and so much stress on your roots as well. So shout out to your braider, whoever did that. <laughs> A takedown, and you're looking to uh, maybe silk press it out, maybe? Let's try it. I haven't had a silk press in a while, so. It'll be a good time. And um, how, when's the last time you got a trip? That I didn't do myself, or? Oh, okay. So, yeah, skip that. Let's just, <laughs> we're gonna include a trim in there. We're gonna get your whisper cleanse. We're gonna do a whisper takedown using Whisper Whip Hydration. Um, it's an amazing product to hydrate your braids. Did you know that you could take your hair down with the Whisper Whip? No, I didn't. All right, so the beauty about taking your hair down with Whisper with Hydration is that you're going to lose way less hair. You know, you ever taking your braids down and you just get all this clump of hair coming out? Absolutely. That happens to me all the time. Okay, so your hair sheds about 100 to 150 strands per day. So if you imagine you've been in braids for about three months mm -hmm. with, you know, with your hair doing its natural shed, you're gonna have uh, a lot of hair, right? But on top of that, if your hair is tangled and matted on top of that, you're gonna go through with a comb, it'll start to snatch hair off. So you're snapping off hair and losing your shed hair at the same time, which is excessive shed. We don't wanna go into excessive shed. We wanna uh, release the naturally shed hair, which should be a considerable less amount of hair that you lose, which is gonna keep your own hair healthy and uh, growing, which is protecting it, right? So let's get right into it. Yes. And then it take a long time to like get out of 
perfect. Um, next up, we're going to be doing the shampoo and conditioning process right on top of the whisper lip. That's to raise the moisture levels and protect her beautiful coils. She has more before texture, so we want to make sure we're not going to put her hair in any damaged area, that damaged zone. We don't want that. So we're going to make sure we're going to keep her hair healthy and give her a nice trim on her hair. It's been a while, right? It's been a very long time. Okay, so let's get that going right now. We'll be back. Angela is all done. Her hair is done. She's looking stunning. I can't wait for you guys to see it. You know, every now and then we got to flex on y'all. So check this out. I'm in shock. I am so grateful. My braids were taken down fast. There, weren't, there wasn't as much breakage. We were able to use some amazing products, the Whisper Whip, I got a deep condition, um, and then the makeup was the icing on the cake. I didn't get to see it until, you know, of course it was done, and I looked in the mirror and was blown away. And so I'm thankful that I can see my face now. As I mentioned before, I wear braids all the time, and I know a lot of other young women do as well, and so to have the Bantu knots and to have this hairstyle and to be able to fully see my face was something that I really realized that I didn't do often and so I'm thankful for the new look. I have a new little swag going into year 2021, praying that it will be much better for so many, but I'm thankful for the entire team who helped to make this new look possible. 